quarterbacks who play quarterback. I'm just curious when when you can see a quarterback starting to get it where he feels comfortable with the offense, comfortable in what he can do in it, what are some of the signs that you see as a coach? Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing is when you're looking at it, you want to look at timing, the decision making, are, are we value in situations is the ball coming out and for timing a lot of it's driven by the feet we'll study the feet a ton to say okay if your feet are on we'll work that in free practice all the time bounce and throw your first read hitch hitch to your second and when they're on with that then you can truly understand timing and the guys are working hard to get that and that, that's those are the biggest things is the decision making the timing and then when you look at it from concepts is are we spreading the ball around is the ball or is it going to one guy consistently or one spot spot of that progression so those those would be the big things with it chase has gotten a lot of work with the twos in mm -hmm. camp so far what are the things that um, he's done to elevate himself i think is he's uh chase has got a lot of playmaking ability um he's he, he's got a good grasp of the offense right now and he's what's even better though is He's playing with confidence, and he's got great understanding of the types of throws and that he can make. And with that, I think there's we got to rein him in a bit with some decision making, which he understands. He's he's it's important to him, you know. But he's got he can make some unique throws and extend some plays uh, with his feet that that presents some problems. And and it's been fun to watch him grow in that area. But he he'd be the first one to tell you with that he's got to clean up some of the decisions and, and value the football just a little bit more. Does he remind you of you at all? When you were young. <laughs> He's, he's uh, he does yeah yeah the way he plays I think I think that was something that jumped out at me early in the recruiting process when you see the way that he threw you know it, it was there was some similarities um, and not just because he's short right? that's how I'm talking about that right. <laughs> John, that's a jump around that question but this, but no he he's he's got you know the the way that he throws the ball certainly. You know, it reminded me a bit of that, and uh, but I, but I think he, he moves a lot better. You know, I mean, his playmaking ability, and his, the way he extends plays, and he's uh, he's got he's got a unique unique skill set there. Has Jack taken the step you hoped he'd take since the spring? He's grown. Yeah, he's he's grown, and uh, what we've asked him to do is is take a big jump in decision making, understanding situations, and being able to protect the football. You know, that's not just protecting the football, not throwing picks. It's protecting the you know, protecting the football with your decisions. If something's not there down the field, being able to get through a progression quickly to spit the ball out to a check down and avoid kind of the negatives early in the downs. And, and I like the w approach he's had to it. He, he understands he's into it. Um, certainly room for improvement. We've got to keep going. You know, this next week is big for that. But he's, he's taken what we've asked of him, uh, you know, in the spring, stretching the ball down the field, making good decisions playing within yourself and and uh, that part's been fun to see so far what do you think has been the biggest challenge for Graham during this fall camp you know what I, I think I think uh, a big part of it is early on there's a lot of install you know we, we do we did about four or five heavy days of install to get it in so therefore now we can run a bunch of those plays so early in camp I think it was just that okay seeing those pictures understand those progressions what did I retain from the spring and getting a jump on those installs is a lot you know those are those are heavy at times and now it's now it's fun because the last couple of days you've seen him Graham's best as as with any quarterback but especially Graham when his feet are in rhythm and early on a little bit in camp you saw those feet where I think you got going a little bit and, and once they get going you can tell that the brain's going a little bit and so the last couple of days have been fun because there haven't been any install so we've been able to tighten down the plan and start just running plays, getting ready for what would be the season. And since then, he's done a great job of getting back to that rhythm with his feet. And he can make all the throws. That's that's not the issue, but it's just understanding, recognizing defensive coverages and progressions and trusting his eyes. You know, I, I think that that's a tough thing when you get when you take that jump is speed of the game and what a window might have been real last fall. Is it real this fall? And he's getting that understanding, and I've loved the way he's attacked it each day. When Jack came in, obviously he's the only one who started experience in the quarterbacks. I'm assuming he figured this is my job to win or lose. Have you, have you seen him looking over his shoulder at all? Like, has anybody gained on you, or have you seen him focused on whatever he's got to do? He's he's been locked into getting better and and set that. You know, I had a great conversation with him back in the winter time of that and and what his goals, what his vision is. And one of the neat things about Jack is 
he, he he's, it's important to him to set the standard for the room. You know, it's Jack knows what he has to improve and what he has to get better on, but he's also he he wants this unit to be the best unit, and so he's taking it upon himself to prepare himself to play at the highest level, but also to make sure that when there's questions asked, when there's discussions being had in the meeting room, that he, he's feeding them with knowledge. And, and that's a standard that he took, and he, he said, I, I, I want this to be, and, and, uh, and I, you know, you can appreciate that from him because he's, he's worked at it, and he, he understands what he's had to do to get better, but at the same time, he's also set a standard for the group that they've played to, and, and they feed off of each other with that. You know, they, they play well together. Along the same lines, mm -hmm. Is it different when you're chasing somebody down rather than when you are the guy up against the bat? Could I answer those questions today? You know what? Um, I, th I think I think there's. You, you know, when I think either way, whether you're whether you're chasing down or you're at the head of it, I think either way, you it sounds cliche, but when you feel that competition, that competition's within yourself, and and that's something we talk continuously because that group, our whole group, needs to know if if they're competing to be the best of them each day and they're improving, then this team's going to get better. And I think for that, it's there's definitely probably a comfort when you're the oldest one because of your experience, you've been around it. But there's there's certainly. I think it's a choice too that, that you make to say, okay, this is going to be important to me, or it's not going to be important to me. You've talked about Chase's playmaking ability. It's one of the other things that maybe stands out about him that he doesn't necessarily get rattled. And you know, if it's third and long, mm -hmm. he, he seems to be able to come up with some of those plays. Is yeah. that an aspect of his game as well? Yeah, he's he's got it. He has a great presence to him, and on and off the field. You know, that, that's one thing about Chase is his personality is is a fun one to be around and. I love the way that he handles himself in the huddle. I love the way that he handles himself on the sidelines, in the meeting rooms, on the field. And I think he, he truly feels that no matter what the situation is, he's going to have an opportunity to move the sticks or make a play. And when you play with that confidence, it definitely is noticeable.